video for you. So if you have been to my channel and you've seen a couple of different videos where I've unboxed or unbagged, you will notice that I did do a boxing from a company called Lamb to You. And what they do is they actually deliver premium, high welfare, non-religiously sorted meat right to your door, which is absolutely brilliant. If you've not seen it, I'll just link it above for you. It'll be up here somewhere. And I really, really like the ethics of the company. I like where the company's actually going. And I have ordered a second box from them and that was absolutely fantastic as well. But in the Lamb to You video, I did mention another company called buyacow.uk. And buyacow are the same sort of company. They do what we call crowd butching or crowd butchering depending on how you want to say it and they don't actually send a cow to slaughter until the entire thing's been sold so it's a bit like crowdfunding in a way just with cows but it's an absolutely fantastic way of doing it it just means that the entire animal is actually used from sort of head to tail or hoof to tail however you want to look at it but I have actually ordered a lovely box from these guys and I'm going to unbox it with you right now so you can actually see what it's like this oh, is the lovely box that I've got. So it does actually say buy a cow UK on there. And just before I do actually really get into this, I just want to say that this is not a sponsored video. I'm doing this video because I love the produce and I want you guys to see what it's like. This little tag here is actually the tag that would have been, it's not the real tag that would have been on it, but that is the number of the cow that is partly in this box. And this box is a 3.5 kilo and as advertised on their website this is a half a freezer drawer so this is absolutely perfect if you are struggling for room so what it actually says on here is keep it cool to protect the integrity of this package please call or eat its contents as soon as possible the number on this meat box matches the ear tag number of your chosen cow so that you can trace back exactly which farm farmer and breed your meat has come from lots of love bye cow so i'm actually going to get stuck into this the seals are not broken and they will be now Ugh. oh so just here on the lid of the box it actually tells you what sort of cow it was and the amount of different bits and pieces so i've got one lot of meatballs two lots of mints two lots of each burger and two lots of chiplatas i'll show you that bit there Oh, this is cool. So we actually had this in one of the other boxes that we did actually have. And it just gives you, it's like a little sheet here. And it tells you what sort of cow it was. So it's a premium small box, which is a 3.5 kilos. It says, hey there, we're so glad you've decided to order this box of healthy, delicious and ethically sourced beef. By doing so, you're supporting higher animal welfare standards the elimination of food waste and a better life for the families of sustainability-minded British farmers, which is what I'm all about. What's more, we've taken all the mystery out of your meat so that you can finally trace it back to exactly where it's from. Now guiltlessly treat yourself to a bite of this succulent, dry-aged beef and just try to tell us its premium taste wasn't worth the wait. So in regards to weight, when you do actually order your bit of cow, it can take about four to six weeks for it to actually arrive at your doorstep. Reason for that is until the cow is 100% sold, it doesn't go to slaughter. If you're one of the lucky guys and you kind of get it well, it's at sort of like 93%, then it'll just be a bit quicker. But it'll then go after slaughter, it'll be aged and cured and whatever else they do with it, and then it'll be packaged and it'll be sent out to you. Right, so I'm gonna read this bit because this is really, really interesting actually. Top tip, some products may seem a little off color, but worry not. Freshly cut beef is actually meant to be purplish in colour. It turns bright red when exposed to oxygen, but our meat is vacuum sealed to prevent this contact. So contrary to what you might expect, the darker colour shows that our meat is fresh and our airtight packaging is doing a great job and you're keeping it so. Once done packed, only then will you see it bloom, which is a fancy word for redden. The meat is also 100% lactose free as well, so anyone that does have lactose intolerance this beef is for you. So they don't use e-numbers, sugar, binding agents, dyes, preservatives or chemicals. All the meat is also gluten free, but they do say that the meat products are prepared in an environment where gluten is processed at other times. So as for me, I am gluten free, but as for me, it's gluten free. That's fine. I'll take the chance because gluten is sort of on a borderline. If you haven't seen my intolerance video, then I'll link that above as well and in the description below so you can see what my intolerances are. This, I absolutely love this. So you can actually stick this on your freezer or you can put it on your fridge if you eat a lot of meat 
like all the time and you can just tick off everything that you've eaten and keep track of what's left which is brilliant I've never known anywhere else actually do that so I, I love that and we do actually tend to put that on the freezer right okay so they have a little question down here it's not a question it's a joke thanks guys important question to ask yourself which job is a cow most suited for a baker why because they're making cow pies regularly <laughs> if you don't know what cow pies are you need to get yourself out in the country and walk around some fields so that's that little leaflet now we're going to crack on to opening this package so if you're wondering why my background's changed a little bit we are having a bit of a move around the house and where i normally do film or have been filming the last few videos is um got stuff in it and i cannot get in there so i am on my sofa anyway so we have a cool pack as with the lamp to you we've got cool wool as well which is brilliant so the first thing out is my beef meatballs which look really scrummy and yummy and gorgeous look at them beautiful i have so this is the beef mince there we go i've got two packs of that so that's that just turn it round that's what the mince actually looks like so i've got two of those oh it looks so good already oh my gosh right i have what are these so these are my beef burgers which are absolutely do you know what these beef burgers wow they are amazing i in the last one we had beef burgers and they are absolutely amazing and the weird thing was we put them in the George Foreman because we use the George Foreman and they didn't seem to shrink they seemed to expand and we were like what what's going on it was so weird um but yeah so I've got burgers which is nice these are really good as well because what what we tended to do with these is just chop them up like snip 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 throw them in with some risotto and vegetables down we'll have pasta and it is really really nommy sausages next ones these are nommy seriously nommy okay you've got beef steak burgers which are really really nommy they look just like the beef burgers but they taste a whole world different so just have a look, they are slightly different. So these are the beef burgers and these are the steak burgers. So the colouring looks slightly different as well. These have got a bit more fat in than this one. But oh, they're just, they are out of this world. Both lots are just out of this world. I'm really sorry, my hair's doing like this weird, weird thing. I don't quite, it's like poofy here, flat here. And it's just, it's not, not working for me, not working for me. It's because I've been at work. That's what it is. I've been at work, my hair's not working for me, been in the wind, and I've been outside with people, and I just give up on this. <laughs> right, next one. Ooh, I forgot I got these. So this is diced beef meat. Beef diced meat. Brain stopped working. Thanks, brain. Yummy, yummy. And that's really nice as well. All of it's really nice. Oh, I've got two of them. Oh no, okay. This is beef stir fry strips. I also forgot that I've got these as well. So, stir fry strips. And they're yummy. They actually look like the uh, diced beef, but they're not, they're different. 100% different. Okay. Ooh, raisin steak. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I love meat. Well, else forgot? Sirloin steak. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of it. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. Look at the size of it. What we did before with the sirloin steak when we had it is we actually chopped it in two because it's far too big for one person to eat. It is massive and it doesn't shrink. Minute steaks. There's two in there. There's my minute steaks. There we go. Cool. Oh. The toughest decision though is actually like figuring out which one you want to eat because it's all so yummy 
and so nice. Okay, and then I've got top side steaks, two top side steaks in there. No me, no me, no me. Oh, it looks so good. So, so, so good. But like, I'm sorry if this is gonna gross you out, but I'm gonna do a bit of a close up with this. You look at the quality of this meat. You look at how it just slightly separates there. Ah. Oh. That's when you know you've got good quality meat. But the, um, where is it? The thing that I've found, right, I really want to show you this, because this is really strange. I'm sorry, I'm going to try and get some of this blood up here, because I know some people don't like it. Is if you actually have a look at the colour of the fat on there, it's not actually white. It's actually got like a hint of yellow to it. And the thing is, right, you go to a shop, and you buy like steaks and stuff and you get the fat and it's like really white and you think oh it's got a lot of fat on it I'll just get rid of it because it's horrible fat is not actually supposed to be white fat when it is in your body is yellow and I mean it is like a nasty yellow so for me seeing yellow fat on a steak is like cow raised properly cow eating what it should be it's not like forcibly made fat it is just got a little bit of chunk on it. So I'm all for that, but I didn't realise the difference between like store-bought meat and this kind of meat. So your high welfare, your properly farm kind of meat until I actually had one of these boxes. So that's everything that I got out of my box. And all I can say is I'm really excited to get stuck into this again because I absolutely love this produce. Absolutely love it. The same with Lamb you absolutely love it. And I cannot praise them enough for what they are doing what they're trying to do in regards to supporting local farmers as well. And what I'll do down below is I'll just link Lamb to you and I'll also link Buy a Cow as well. So if you do want to go and see the kind of things that they do, you can just jump onto their website and have a look. As I did mention, this video isn't sponsored. I just want to do this video so people can understand the kind of thing that you can actually get with this. I've had so many questions from my friends and my family members as well because every time they go, oh, you should get meat from here or you should get this or they've got an offer and I go, no. No, get your meat from either Lamb to You or go to buyacow.uk because they are absolutely brilliant, high welfare, they respect their animals, they're British farmers, they have minimal waste of, I know it sounds horrible talking about waste when you talk about animals, but the animal is not dying in vain because all of it is going to be used. And also it's slaughtered in a high welfare way. It is not religiously slaughtered. I know that people do have it slaughtered for religious reasons in different ways, which is absolutely fine. If that's what you like doing, that's absolutely fine. But I like knowing that my meat has been looked after the whole way through the process. I like to know that his mother was looked after when she was pregnant. I like to know that that animal has had a brilliant life out in the field, on the farm, eating the things that it should be eating, being looked after, having its checks to make sure that it is being raised in the right way, farmer looking after it, and then when it has gone to slaughter, it's being slaughtered in a humane way. And that's another reason why I do actually really support these guys. So when friends and family ask me where I have my meat from, I will always, always, always recommend lamb to you and buyacow.uk, just because they're brilliant, and the quality of the produce is absolutely fantastic. So I know I did mention earlier in the video the box that I bought and it was the 3.5 kilo premium which is a small box you can actually get a 7 kilo as well and it was this Charolais from Somerset and the reason why I absolutely love this is it tells you exactly what sort of cow it is you get your ear tag so that you know exactly which cow it is and it tells you whereabouts it's actually from. So I can actually go on buycow.uk and actually find the farmer, which is absolutely brilliant. They all have their own profiles on there. And it's another thing that just, it makes you feel that little bit closer to sort of what you've got here. And essentially, I have kind of handpicked all that lot, which is actually another really nice thing. You to kind of think, well, I've handpicked this cow. It's almost like you've gone into the field and you've gone, no, don't want that one. No, no, it's got a weird hoof. No, I'll have that one, please, and I'll have this bit. Which is quite cool, because you don't get that when you go to a supermarket. So what I'll do is I'll just, I can't remember off the top of my head how much this actually costs, because I did buy it probably about four weeks ago, I think. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just add that sort of either here, or I'll add it here, and then you can see how much I've actually spent on this box. Like I mentioned, I will pop links down below so that you can actually click onto the website and go and have a look. Obviously, you don't have to buy anything. It's not up to me for you to buy this stuff. But it's absolutely brilliant. If you did want to try it, the links are down there. And that's everything from me. So 
I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video and if you do want to see more videos like this do feel free to subscribe and hit that notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload another video. So now I'm going to go away and I'm going to make some lovely food for dinner and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!